So if you've been watching my recent videos about upscaling AI art, then you might already know that there's a new way to upscale your graphics by kind of reimagining the original image with AI just at a higher resolution. And this is not the same as what we were doing before. Beforehand, we were literally just increasing the resolution and then denoising and sort of sharpening up the result as much as possible. And this new method of upscaling does get better results. However, how do the different tools compare right here where this is already implemented? So in this video, I'm going to compare the mid journey upscaler, which is built in the ideogram upscaler, which has also recently been added to their tool. And I'm going to compare them with the dgb.lol, which is a free way to use this new upscaling method. And I'll see which one of them performs best, looks the most realistic, the sharpest, and that should help you decide further down the line which upscaler to use yourself. But before we jump into Photoshop to do the actual comparison, I wanted to show you how I use the different upscalers so that you know what the different results actually mean that we're comparing. And that way you can also follow along or use the same settings in future for your graphics, your designs, or your images. And first of all, I went to mid journey and I created the original image right here. So this is meant to be kind of a realistic photo of a woman. And then I upscaled this right here with the subtle model, uh, which essentially stays as close as possible to the original it doesn't make any changes to the image, it just makes it larger. So I clicked on subtle, and then I downloaded the original version right here and the upscaled version. Then I went over to ideogram and I essentially clicked on this little arrow symbol right here to upload the original mid journey image. And then all I did was click upscale and change some of the sliders right here. Basically, I just maxed out resemblance and detail because I wanted it to be just like in mid journey as close as possible to the original that is resemblance set to 100. And I wanted the detail to be increased as much as possible as well. And then I just hit upscale and waited for the result to come in. And then finally, I went to dgb.lol as well. I chose their AI retouch feature right here, just dropped in the original image once again. And all you have to do here is click submit for it to be added to the queue, we can then download it once it's done upscaling. But then I was also talking to Tom, the founder and owner of this website on Discord, and he suggested to me that I should try the reimagine feature as well for this because it can get some very good results. And this one is a little bit harder to use. But essentially, what I did is once again, drop in the original file, I changed the style right here to realistic faces, turn the slider down all the way to weak, which um, I believe means that it's going to stay closer to the original. And then I also had to enter a prompt. He said, just put something simple like beautiful woman. And then I hit submit and waited for this to be done as well. What I found is with this one, as you're going to see in the comparison is it's a bit harder to get it to look just like the original, but the quality improvements were massive. So I still wanted to show you this as an option as well. Right, so here we are in Photoshop. Uh, this is the original image that we're looking at from afar. It already looks pretty decent. Um, this is obviously from mid journey. And then if we zoom in, we can see that the details are very pixelated and blurry. Let's see how the different upscalers did. Uh, first of all, let's look at the ideogram upscaler. So I'm going to hide the original. And there we go. I think you can see that this has definitely made it less pixelated. If we look at the original right here, the eyebrows is something that I'm focusing on as well as the eyelashes right here and the pupil, etc. So this is original. This is the ideogram upscale. If we maybe focus in on the nose and the mouth a little bit right here, this is ideogram upscale. This is the original. So it definitely looks a lot less blurry and pixelated and it's added some details like in the lips. Um, this is the original. This is ideogram upscale. And if you zoom out, let's see how it looks in comparison, like how close it is to the original. So this is ideogram upscale. This is the original ideogram upscale original. So it's slightly changed the result. I think the eye on the right looks a bit weird or the upscale. So this is original ideogram upscale. Yeah, it did kind of mess up the eye right here. That does not look very round anymore. So it's a slight improvement, definitely better than the original in terms of its quality, but I don't think it is massively improved in terms of the actual quality and details, in my opinion. But let's actually see how the mid journey upscaler compares to that. So once again, we'll start off with the eye right here. I think that's a good place to compare. So we're looking at ideogram upscale right now. And this is mid journey, ideogram mid journey. 
I think, at least to me, is very clear that Mid Journey did a way better job here. A lot of the details look a lot more crisp, they look smoother, and they also look more realistic. And this eye, for example, I think the shape looks a lot better than an ideogram. We've got a lot of sort of grainy details right here that look a bit strange. The eyebrows especially can see that this is quite pixelated still, not as detailed as the Mid Journey result. This looks a lot smoother and Generally, if we zoom out, so we're looking at mid journey right now, and this is ideogram, mid journey ideogram. Zoom in on this section, we're looking at ideogram right now, and this is mid journey. Yeah, this is a lot, a lot clearer and a lot more realistic. And one thing that's also good to compare actually is the hair because there's a lot of, sort of stray hairs right here, and that is a difficult thing to upscale for a lot of upscalers. This is mid journey, this is ideogram. Mid journey looks a lot more crisp than ideogram. This is very pixelated and kind of noisy over here. Lots and lots of noise, whereas Mid Journey, yeah, did a good job of that. Also, one thing to note with the Mid Journey upscaler is that if we compare it to the actual original image right here, it is pretty much the same. It's not straight away from the original as much as Ideogram. So this is Ideogram compared to the original definitely some difference right there. So there we go, Mid Journey I think definitely wins this round, but let's compare it. So this is Mid Journey, let's compare it to DGB AI Retouch. We zoom into the eye, we're currently looking at Mid Journey, and this is DGB Retouch. Mid Journey, DGB, Mid Journey, DGB. I think DGB is, it's not better, but it is almost as good, or if not just as good. It doesn't look the same as the original. Like if we zoom out and compare to the original, then there is some slight differences. Mid Journey is definitely closer to the original, but the, the actual result, if we look at the eye and some of the details right here in the eyebrow and compare that to Mid Journey. So this is DGB at the moment, Mid Journey. DGB, I think it's done a really good job and it's competing well with Mid Journey. Mid Journey is slightly better on the eyelashes here, I would say. This is DGB and it's kind of like cluttered and, and not as clear, whereas Mid Journey, yeah, Mid Journey makes this look a lot more realistic on the eyebrows. And let's look at the nose and mouth right here. So Mid Journey at the moment, and this is DGB. Mid Journey, DGB. So the skin to me like looks just as good on DGB as it does with Mid Journey, but the mouth, the lips, I think DGB is slightly worse. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more um, pixelated, not as detailed, not as realistic. If you look at this DGB right here, and this is Mid Journey. Yeah, Mid Journey wins this section, I would say. The hair, another interesting part. So Mid Journey did quite well right here, but DGB, if we compare it, that looks, that looks a little strange. It's kind of messed up the lines and made them look very unrealistic right here, very jagged. So yeah, this is an area where DGB loses, I would say, is the hair. But overall, if we compare the two, this right here is Mid Journey, this is DGB. I think they're quite close. But one thing I just noticed, I didn't see this before, is the actual pupil right here gets lost with DGB. That is a big downside. So here it kind of looks all over the place, whereas Mid Journey, it is more clearly round. And you can see that if it's zoomed out, DGB, kind of messes up the pupil a bit more. Right, overall, I would think DGB compared to Ideogram, massive difference. Yeah, DGB looks a lot better with Mid Journey. It is close, but Mid Journey overall wins that. However, let's also test the re Imagine, that is the last setting or the last tool that I showed you within DGB, which Tom recommended to me. So I'm going to hide the DGB AI retouch now and show you the re Imagine. There we go. This is reimagine. Let's zoom in on the eye again. That looks really, really good. Very realistic. This is the AI retouch where this section was a little bit wonky. And reimagine looks really good. Let's compare that to Mid Journey. So this is Mid Journey and this is reimagine. That looks more realistic to me. If we look at some of the skin details and the eye, like this is reimagine. This is Mid Journey. This does appear to be lower quality, and whilst it looks amazing, don't get me wrong, Reimagine looks better to me. How about the hair? Because it was struggling with that before. So we're looking at Reimagine DGB at the moment. I think that looks pretty good. Let's look at the Mid Journey. Yeah, definitely different aesthetic. This is Mid Journey, Reimagine. But overall, this result for the hair looks really good, I think. A lot better than what we had with the AI retouch, like these wonky lines right here. That seems to be a lot better on Reimagine. All right, what about the nose and mouth right here? So this is Reimagine, this is Mid Journey. Reimagine, Mid Journey. Very close. They both look really good in their own way. Reimagine just seems higher quality. It's um, maybe not 
as detailed in, in the texture right here. But yeah, I mean, they both look amazing. The only downside, like I alluded to earlier, is that with the reimagine, I don't think there's currently a feature to be as close to the original as possible because this is the original image and this is reimagined. So it has changed quite a bit, but it does look a ton better. The eyes. The eyes are, I think, the best. Yeah, definitely the best with Reimagine, even if we compare that to Mid Journey, AI Retouch, and Ideogram, like they all did a way worse job of the eyes than the Reimagine feature. So that's very impressive. I think DGB, considering it's a free tool, has definitely held its own right here against the big players, um, especially against Mid Journey. Ideogram, um, I think, is clearly the worst result out of the lot that I showed you. But what's also actually interesting is the different dimensions, the, the pixel sizes that these tools turn out, because there's also a notable difference, which I'm going to go into now. So the original image, if we look at those dimensions, was 1,456 by 816 pixels. That came from Midjourney. And the upscaler in Midjourney gave us a result of 2,912 by 1,632 pixels. So essentially the size was doubled right there to nearly 3,000 pixels on the longer side. Then the ideogram upscaler, that gave us a very similar result, 2,900 by 1,632 pixels. So again, the size was pretty much doubled right here, um, which is surprising because ideogram and midjourney in the comparison didn't look like it was the same dimensions. Ideogram did look lower in terms of its size. But here's the interesting part, DGB AI retouch spits out 4,000 494 by 2520 pixels. So that is essentially three times the original size, which is, I think, a major benefit considering that mid journey and the AI retouch feature, they were very close in terms of how good the result looked and how detailed and realistic it was. I know the hair was a bit of a downside there, but that brings me to the next model that we tested, which was the reimagine feature within DGB. And that gave us the highest dimensions, the biggest size output with the upscaled image of 4,992 by 2,816 pixels. So on the longer side, almost 5,000 pixels compared to the other upscalers like Midjourney and Ideogram, who only went up to less than 3,000. So that is a massive size difference. And the Reimagine also had some amazing results in terms of the detail, the realism. Just think about the eyes, the hair looked a lot better there. And overall, I think the skin looked very, very good, even in competition with Midjourney, which tends to have kind of the best results uh, with its upscaler in total. So yeah, I thought this was interesting to compare the different sizes, the different results, obviously depending on your subject, like the type of graphic that you're using, one might do better than the other. I always recommend still doing your own tests depending on your style or what you're trying to sell. But from this specific test, I think DGB and Midjourney are very close and DGB with the higher quality output definitely has a bit of an edge there. And not to mention that it is actually free. Whereas with Midjourney, obviously you would have to pay for the subscription and it also uses up your fast hours to actually upscale the image afterwards. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of these new upscalers and which one was your favorite. And if you want to learn a hidden setting within Ideogram that can help you get better text accuracy in your results, then make sure to check out this video next.